Hi, we're doing Math 23, and we're doing Unit 5 Scale Drawing and Design. This is our key, right? Our notes key, and I'm Mrs. Finlay. So let's see what we're going to do here. Today we're talking about scale. Now we use scale um, whenever we're talking about something that has uh, a copy that has been either enlarged or shrunk. So um, we see the use of scale a lot when we're doing things with maps. Um, the map of the real world, world is pretty big. Uh, we want a smaller representation that's more practical to deal with. We have maps on our phones, uh, paper maps. Um, so what we've done is we've taken the proportions and the distances and we've shrunk them down um, so that we can follow what's going on and know where everything is in relationship to one another and use that map practically. We clearly wouldn't make the map the same size as what it actually is because if we did, that's not very practical. Um, we can also deal with uh, enlargement. Um, so we deal with enlargement with scales when uh, we take something that um, is very, very tiny, say like an electronic circuit, that sort of thing, and we want to increase the size so we can view it uh, in a way that's easier to see. You know, we might have some sort of uh, scale diagram of, of uh, something very, very tiny, um, and we enlarge that so we can see it more clearly. Now, a scale ratio, uh, we're going to use that a lot, and it is a ratio that compares model size to the original size of an object. Okay, so that ratio, we have the one uh, measurement, which is the model size, which is usually first, and or on top, and then we have the original uh, size, which would be second, or if it's a fraction on the bottom. Okay, so we would have model over original, or if we have it in a ratio, it would be model, oops, I'm gonna give myself a little more space here. If we have it in a ratio, we would go model to original, okay? All right, for example, a model might be given a scale ratio of one to 1,000. That means that one unit on the model represents 1,000 units on the original. Uh, a map is going to have a very small scale ratio to fit large distances. So for example, if we have this map of Kingston to Cromwell on the, the map, it might be centimeters, and in real life, it might be kilometers, right? So we're going to have that comparison. Um, a scale factor is basically model, like if we just want one number for it, not a ratio, not a a fraction, it's model length divided by original length. Okay, now, uh, and it's the number you multiply the original by to get the model. So sometimes a scale factor is going to be tiny, less than one, and sometimes it'll be bigger than one. Depends on if you're shrinking or enlarging. More often than not, we're shrinking, so it's going to be less than one. So if we have our scale factor, we have scale length over original length. Scale length is the same as saying the model length, right? Um, and we have this example right here. We have two triangles. Um, and in this, uh, A, so we're actually enlarging. A is our scale, our original, sorry. And B is our model, our scale. So if we take those numbers from here, and I can just take these numbers here, six and nine, my scale factor would be the model length of 9 divided by the original length of 6, which is 
So for all of those other measurements to get from one to the other, um, if I take my original and I multiply it by the scale factor, I will get the scale uh, measurement. So 8 times 1.5 gives me 12 centimeters. Similarly, 10 times 1.5 gives me 15 centimeters. Now, if I was going the opposite direction, if I wanted to go from scale to model, I would divide by 1.5. So it depends on what direction you're going in, okay? So let's look at some more uh, examples. Calculating scale factor. So first we identify the corresponding original and scale length. We make sure we know which one's original and which one's scale. We have to make sure both measurements are in the same unit because this is a scale factor. So, um, so that might you might have to do some conversions, right? So if you're dealing with this one in centimeters and one in kilometers, you might have to convert uh, the kilometers into centimeters to do your scale factor or vice versa, okay? Substitute into the formula, scale length over original length, and convert into decimal by dividing scale by original, or top by bottom, okay? So calculate the scale factor used to create the model. So here we have our original and our model. So here we're shrinking, right? Shrinking. So that means our scale factor will be less than one, okay? Important to note, that gives you a big tip if you're doing it right. So we, to figure out our scale factor, we take the scale over the original. Now they're both in centimeters, so that's good. So the units are the same. So our scale, or our model, we have a three centimeters compared to the six centimeters. Three divided by six is 0 0.5. So our scale factor is 0.5, okay? Uh, let's look at another example. We have our original and our model. So this is our scale, right? So scale factor is equal to scale over original. Now in this one, we are uh, enlarging, right? So we should expect our scale factor to be greater than one because we're getting bigger. So substitute in, I can take any of these pairs. So let's start with one and five. So on the scale, I have a five and on the original, I have one, so I get a five. Or I can use any other pair so let's choose two and 10. So on the scale I have a 10 and on the original I have a two. All you have to do is make sure that you're matching them up correctly, right? So two divided by 10 is five, or I can use three or 15. So 15 divided by three is five. So there are three options there. Do whichever one's easiest. I started with five divided by one because that's a pretty easy uh, division, okay? But any one of them gets you the same answer, okay? So scale ratio to scale factor. If you're given the scale ratio, simply dun, 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 divide to get the scale factor, okay? So, for example, a model train has a scale ratio of 1 to 220. Remember I said that this goes scale to original. So we're going to put that in a fraction So we for our scale factor. So it's scale over original. So it'll be 1 divided by 220. And we get 0.004545. And very often it'll tell you how many decimals. Um, in a scale ratio, scale is always first to original 
and that will convert to our scale factor of scale over original. Okay, so just make sure it's over the right. Now I've talked a little bit about this. I've kind of peppered it in. Uh, enlarging, enlarging versus shrinking. If the scale factor is greater than one, for example, 1.75, it's bigger than one, we're going to enlarge. If it's less than one, for example, 0 0.025 is less than one, we're going to shrink. Okay, so examples of this might be, as I said, maps, okay, uh, Ikea pictures, okay. Um, example of these might be electronic circuits. Uh, this might also be photographs, All right? Photos are smaller than the original more often than not. If you take a picture of a mountain, it's hard to put a mountain in your room. Oops, I skipped a bit. Do, 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 do. Sorry, guys. All right. To calculate scale length or the original length, we have this convenient little model. To calculate scale length, you multiply by your scale factor, right? So that would be this one if we're going from original to scale. If you want to go from uh, scale to original, so this is going in this direction, right? Whereas this one was going in this direction, okay? Uh, so if you want to calculate the original length and you've got the scale, you're going to divide by scale factor. So you're using scale factor everywhere, it's just, whether or not you're going to divide or multiply, okay? What does that mean, Mrs. Finley? Well, let's do some examples. Uh, then I have a weird blank page, my apologies. It says, a man in a photograph is two centimeters tall. His actual height is 1.8 meters. Calculate the scale factor. So um, now we have to make sure we're in the same units. So in the photograph, right, the photo, is two centimeters. In the original, he's 1.8 meters. So we have to convert that to centimeters. So there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So we times by 100 and we get 180 centimeters. That, uh, remember back to last unit, meters to decimeters to, to centimeters. Each time on the metric system, we multiply by 10, right? So times 10 times 10, which basically is times 100. So that's just how I got that, okay? But you do need to have the same units, right? Same units for comparison, okay? So now figuring out our scale factor. Um, scale factor equals scale over original, right? So it's gonna be two centimeters divided by 180 centimeters, which is 0 0.011, and that would be our scale factor. Now we're gonna use that to answer the next few questions, okay? So keep that scale factor in mind, boom, boom, boom. Okay. If a lamppost is measured in the photograph to be 3.6 centimeters tall, uh, calculate the actual height of the lamppost. So scale length is 3.6 centimeters. Um, if we're going from scale to original, we're going to divide, right? So that's important. So scale to original, we uh, divide by scale factor, okay? And scale factor is 0 0.011. We got that from that last question. So uh, that means the original will equal 3.6 divided by 0 0.011, okay? 
So that's basically the scale divided by the scale factor. And when we do that, we get 327.3 centimeters. Now, uh, if we wanted to put that in meters, we could just divide by 100 and we would get 3.273 meters. But it didn't say we had to, so that is an acceptable answer, okay? Now, if the man was standing beside a 0.9 meter tall bench, how tall would the bench be in the photo? Well, we know the original length is 0 0.9 meters. To go from original to scale, we multiply by the scale factor, okay? And that's a zero, not a six, okay? And our scale factor, again, we got from the original question is 0 0.11, okay? Uh, so scale will equal uh, original times the scale factor. So that's going to be 0 0.9 meters times 0 0.011, okay? And we would get 0 0.0099 meters, or we can write that in centimeters by multiplying by 100.99 centimeters. But it didn't say you had to, so you can keep the meters or you can convert. Okay, so you're going to do some practice with going from scale meters or scale to original and back and using finding scale factors. Um, there's some good practice there. Uh, for those of you who like the idea of scale, 